Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a program called Rocket Doc. Um, I don't know if it's old or new, but it's, it's just, uh, fairly new to me. Um, it's a program like the program taskbar, similar to the Mac. You know how the Mac on the bottom, instead of this taskbar, this actually where you have that Mac, that squirrely thing? Well, you have it here on the top for, for PCs, for Windows XP and Windows Vista and so forth. Um, <clears throat> it's a really cool program. It's really user friendly. It's really organized, and it's cool. The interface is cool looking. Um, well, yeah. You open your in it uh, in order to in order to install the program. You open an internet browser, and um, which are Mozilla, Firefox, or Internet Explorer. You either go to Google, type in Rocket Doc, or just in your address bar, type in Rocket Doc dot com, and you download program 1.3.5. Uh, on the main home page is a video showing Rocket Dog. Uh, they're using a program 1.3.0, um, but just download 1.3.5. And if you want, you can continue watching that video on the website or just continue watching mine. Uh, well, yeah, after you install it, you'll have a layout like this, but you won't have all these. All you'll have is um, your My Computer, My Documents, My Music, My Pictures Control Panel. And then you have your dock settings and two other program, two other icons that I deleted because I don't need. Then as you go by, you have these other icons, your programs that you open. So go to settings. I'll show you the settings I've done for my Rocket Dock. And um, so yeah, it'll be open to this page. General, uh, select your language accordingly. Uh, check run at startup. You can or not. Uh, all these settings are optional. This is what I did. I ran at startup, so I wanted to keep going to start menu and double clicking on the program. I just ran at startup, so it's automatically there. Since I have no icons on my desktop, so I just ran at startup. I left that unchecked, but I'm not sure what that does. Uh, minimize windows to dock. It's like something doing like this. You see my program, my quick hand program. I minimize it. It'll go straight to there, as you can see here. Okay, you see like up there that little thing. All right, so um, yeah, that's Rocket Doc. Here's my settings again. Sorry. So I did minimize running application indicators. What application indicator means? You see these black little arrows? Uh, that is indicating that you're running that program right here. So I Mozilla open and Quick Cam open. Uh, and it open running application instance. I'm not sure what that does. I just checked it. Uh, with, I guess it just opens the application instantly. And more icons. Leave the icons as default. Um, I didn't change anything. Position. Uh, you can change the screen position. You do top or bottom or left or right. Why is left it as a top layering? I'm not sure what layering is. I just left it as it is, and um, so yeah, and then uh, so yeah, um, yeah, then in the style you leave the style as it is, or you can change the font or whatever. Um, I just left it as it is because it looks cool, anyways. And then behavior, uh, as you, you can see, uh, behavior I left it as auto hide. I didn't leave it. I checked auto hide, and I left everything else as it is. And um, yeah, what auto hide is like? You see how that disappears, and when I move my cursor up, it comes back up. So that's auto hide. You can leave that on or off. Um, so yeah, that's about it. And to add a program or um, to delete a program, you just you see Windows Live Messenger. You just take it, drag, disappears. To add a program, you do the following. Load it up. Okay, we gonna start our program. So I'm gonna take Windows Live Messenger. I'm gonna make sure you copy and paste it. I don't know, just for precaution reason because it deletes your program from the taskbar. You paste it. So there it is, Windows Live Messenger. You drag that and you drop it accordingly. Uh, if you see the big gaps, you won't have these when you first get it. In order to get those, you right click. Add item and separators. It's a separator just to organize your thing even more, better, more organized. 
So yeah, that's Rocket Dock. It's a great program. It's very easy to use. It's fun and it's pretty darn cool. It's better than the boring standard desktop you have here, like those icons. I'm guessing most of you guys have icons up here. Um, yeah, that's Rocket Dock. Um, and um, for the people who have Vista, the Vista owners, uh, you have one little advantage over this. Um, if you minimize. Like you can do this already on Vista if you have Vista Ultimate or something. Like you know how you can have the little movie play, but here if you don't have those that opportunity on a Vista as is. Uh, like say for instance, this is a video Windows Media Player. If you're watching a video like a movie or a TV show or whatever, uh, it'll be playing here still in a minimized mode, but a little bit larger icon, I believe. It shows on that video when you go into RocketDoc.com. It shows you. So you can look at that, it shows a little bit more detail. But I can't show you because I'm running on Windows XP, as you can see on Taskbar is Windows XP. Um, well, yeah, that's Rocket Dock 1.3.5. Uh, I would recommend it, it's a really cool program. Um, and if, and it's for the PC, and this is for PCs only, I'm guessing, because Macs, you don't really need it because you already have that cursor, you already have that Taskbar, squirrely Taskbar thing. Um, this is for PC users who want to feel like they have a Mac, who wants to have a somewhat Mac interface. So download this program. There's probably other programs out there, but I'm guessing this is one of the best ones. And it's one of the only ones I know, so it's pretty cool, good looking, and so forth. Uh, yeah, so... <sighs> Thank you for watching my video. Uh, please comment and subscribe. Alright. Bye.